Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna do a review of eCoverly. It's a product by Adil Chaudhary, this man right here, that's available on ClickBank. This product launched on Monday, October 2nd. Today is Tuesday, October 3rd. Now, the reason why I'm telling you the dates is because normally when I do these types of review videos, I like to do the review on the very day that I purchased the product. And so, I did purchase the product. So here it is. My ClickBank receipt, I did purchase the product on October the 2nd on the day of launch. You can see right here, I paid $35.15 more on that in a little bit here. I purchased the personal license. So the very, very minimal license is the one that I purchased. And you can see right here, I opened up a ticket and the ticket got answered and resolved on Tuesday, October 3rd. So they did respond, acknowledge my acknowledging my ticket. They said that there was a lot of traffic, a lot of things happening, so they were having technical difficulties. Not, not a good start. Not a good start when you're launching a product like this one. And so on Tuesday, today, October 3rd at 3.31 a.m. Pacific time, I got a response, and they finally gave me my login. They finally gave it to me. So this is my review, and some things have changed. And I'm going to point those things out. And I'm going to call this a no hype review because I'm not I'm not affiliated with this product. I just want to buy this product and share it with you guys so you can make a decision for yourselves because this product is being hyped up a lot. There's a lot of prize money. So therefore, a lot of people are going to be promoting it. So you're probably getting an influx of emails from affiliates encouraging you to buy this product. But what I want to do was give you my review, my opinion, no affiliate link whatsoever so that you can see and experience what I experienced. So right off the bat, the experience was not good, right? If you purchase a product and you can't access it, that's, that's not good. But fortunately, they did resolve it and that's great. So let's go back to the sales page here. What is it about? Well, this is about creating incredible 3D animated e-covers in just five minutes. So we're going to go inside. I'm going to share with you what this is all about so you can see how it works, what you get when you purchase the minimum license, the personal license that I got. But before I do, let's just go through this sales page here because you can see down here, they're giving you a $20 off coupon. If you use this code animate, you can get $20 off. Well, I purchased eCoverly for $37. I purchased the the personal license for $37. There was a 5% uh, off coupon animate, and that dropped the price down, you saw, to $35.15. So when I saw this, I thought, wow, I could have, you mean I could have got it for $17? <laughs> but let me just show you guys what you're going to get. So let's scroll all the way down. Let's take a look down here at the pricing. So let's go all the way down here. So right here, you can see they've only got this one option, $67. So you can get $20 off. You'll be spending $47. And maybe the price went up after the first day. But you can get it for $47 with personal and unrestricted commercial use. So when I talk about the pricing later on, you're going to see that there were three price points when I purchased it. There was the personal. There was the... I believe it was a pro version, and then there was an even more uh, expensive one. I think it was like an agency one. And so there were three different price points. Obviously, price points change. And I always tell you guys when I go through the funnel that pricing and OTOs are always subject to change. And this is the case with this product. So at the time of this recording, the price is $67. If you use this $20 off coupon code, you can get it for $47. You'll get personal and unrestricted commercial use. Now, I'm not sure if they're going to extend that to the people that purchased it on the first day. Who knows? This is something that if I decide I want to reach out to support and find out what they are going to give me, then I will do that. But for the sake of this review, I just want to show you, for those of you who purchased on the first day, what you got. Okay. So if you click on this, it's going to bring up these upsells right here, you can get 60 more templates for 37 eCoverly Care Plus. So you can get priority VIP technical technical support Monday through Sunday, one-time fee for $9. And then you can 
get the master class. So those are the upsells. Obviously, if you click on them, they're going to add them to the cart. So let's go and take a look at eCoverly. I'm going to log in and then we're going to go through this product and I'm going to just give you my personal opinion as we go through. So let's log in here. This is the eCoverly dashboard and immediately the first thing you are greeted with is please activate your software license. So there's no way for me to click off of this. So you have to fill this information out. Personally, I don't like doing this. I don't like giving all this other information up. I purchased the product, give me access to the product. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna fill out the information and then we're gonna activate the license. All right, so now that I submitted my information, after I did that, this popped up. So again, there, there's gonna be a, a big push for you to upgrade. And this was the case when I did a review for Presentar. There was a lot of upgrades as well. But this is what I'm experiencing right now. So we're just going to close this out. And we're finally inside the members area of eCoverly. All right, guys, let's do a quick walkthrough of eCoverly. On the left side, these are the membership levels that you may or may not have purchased. So I purchased the basic level. So you can see right here, there's a green check mark. Everything else as a padlock means that I have not purchased them. And if I want to have access to those features, I need to upgrade. By clicking on that, it takes you to their sales page. So you can upgrade that way, all right? Or if you see any of these padlocks here, when you click on them, you can upgrade that way as well. So they make it very easy for you to upgrade. And that seems to be like a recurring theme that I noticed when I was going through this product. If you need support, this is where you can open up a support desk ticket. Right here, if you want to register for their three-day webinar, they're having a webinar on October the 10th. You can register that way. They have a Facebook community that you can join. If you want to promote eCoverly, you can do that. And when you purchase eCoverly, you get points. And each upgrade comes with a specific amount of points. So if you purchase professional, you get 250 points. And what it does is you accumulate these points and then you can redeem them when you reach a certain level. So for this example, 700 points to unlock the Design Profit Academy, 1,000 points in order to get a deal box. So that is how the rewards points works. Up top here, this is the main menu. If you want to create an e-cover, when you click on that, it takes you to this page that has all these templates on here. You can filter them by category if you want. If you see a an e-cover that you like, but it's locked, you can unlock it by upgrading. So they, again, they make it very easy for you to upgrade. So let's go back to the main dashboard area. And here is the pop-up that we saw earlier. And unfortunately, there is no way for me to turn this off. So when I say that they make it easy for you to upgrade, they do push you guys to upgrade. They're going to want everyone to upgrade. And I don't know if you upgrade, if you buy all of these, you can turn that off. Maybe that's the whole goal. But unfortunately, I can't turn this off. So if I were to give feedback, I would say, please turn it off because, <laughs> because I know where to upgrade. It's all here on the left side or if I click on any of these buttons right here. And when you take a look at the animated e-covers, here are the animated ones. Again, if I want to unlock them, I can upgrade if I want to. But these are the animated ones. You can filter by category as well. Let's go back to the dashboard. Let's see the pop-up again. Let's close the pop-up. And that is how you can create those projects. You can also, if you want to view all of the animated e-covers, you can do that. If you want to view the static e-covers, the non-animated ones, you can do that. So there's multiple ways to get to those templates. If you've created an e-cover and you want to import it, you can do so. And it has to be an e-coverly file, so an e-cover file. So .ecvr files, those are the only ones that you can upload. When you want to go back and take a look at your projects, this is where all your projects will be shown here. So anything that you've created, whether they're static e-covers, animated e-covers, the group shots or mock-ups, which I'm going to talk about, everything that you've created will be listed 
here. They have a drop down menu here as well. So you can access all of that right there. But let's go back to the main dashboard. Let's close the pop up <laughs> and let's hover over these right here. I'm not going to open them up because what they're going to do is it's going to just take us back to the pages, the respective pages where the static e-cover templates are as well as the animated e-cover templates are. And I don't want to come back here and see the pop-ups. <laughs> Under Prime, this is an upgrade as well. So you see right here, Prime. This is, the, this is an upgrade. They do have e-covers and the animated e-covers that you can access when you unlock Prime. Group Shots are another upgrade. So if you want to know what Group Shots are, they're down over here. These are what I call bundles. So if you see a bundle shot on a sales page, this is what these basically are. So you can see what it would look like on a, a tablet or on a CD or on a product box, on a mobile device. And they put them all together. These are bundles. But I have to unlock in order to get access to that. With the group shots, or with the mockups, I should say, these are the realistic looking mockups. So these are the computers, your tablets, everything that looks like it's in a lifestyle shot. These are the mockups and you have to upgrade in order to get that. So again, lots of upgrade opportunities for you guys if you find that this is something you want to pick up. They do have a Gigs Hero. And again, this is a, another upgrade. So let's close this out. Tutorials, self-explanatory guides. This is where you can get access to their tutorial videos. They're down here on the very bottom. And these are their tutorial videos right here. So watch these and if you need any help at all, open up a ticket and get your answers that way. Let's go back to the main dashboard. Let's close out the pop-up, the ever-present pop-up. This is your notifications right here. If you have upgraded and you are managing clients, you can do that from here. This drop-down gives you access to your profile and you change your password. They do offer up some free templates and in order to get access to those, you need to leave a testimonial for them. You can get access to the affiliate program, claim your rewards. This agency website, again, this is an upsell as well. They do have GIF to video. So when you click on that, this is a tool that will allow you to convert your GIF into a video in just a few seconds. Let's go back to the main dashboard close out the pop-up here. And of course, down here, they have disk usage. When you click on that, this is interesting because it says right here, with static e-covers, you're only allowed 10. And so anytime you use them, it's gonna count down here. And if you wanna manage them, you have to go to your, uh, your project site here and then you can delete them. So you're not gonna have unlimited space when you're using this product. You have to be aware of that. So I wanna just show you also too, with your animated e-covers, you have an allowance of five. And you and of course, anytime you create one, these, these numbers will count down. If you wanna manage them and, and delete them so you have more space, you can do that as well. Same goes with your mockups, group shots, and one-click magic. Because I didn't upgrade, I don't know how much of an allowance you have. So just keep in mind here, the available disk space is 500 megabytes. So it's not like you can just create any of these and just, you know, store them all here. You're going to have to store them on your computer or someplace else because you are going to be limited by space. So that's the walkthrough of eCoverly. Let's do a quick demo of what this builder looks like. So when you choose a template that you like, you're presented with other templates. So you have a product box, a CD, business card, iPhone, iPad, you have Kindle, MacBook, iMac. So you have a variety of templates that you can choose from. Obviously, again, guys, if you want to upgrade, you can upgrade. But let's just choose the product box right here. And this is going to launch their builder. This is the eCoverly builder. And I'm just gonna walk you through some of the features here. This up here, by the way, this is music. This is music. So they incorporated music into this builder. 
And I suppose they did it just to inspire you while you're working so you can listen to some music. But I'm just going to play it so you can hear what it sounds like. So that's what the music sounds like. Personally, I like lo-fi music when I'm working, so I probably wouldn't listen to this. But for those of you guys, hey, whatever floats your boat. On the left side here, client profile. If you've upgraded, then you'll have access to this. Obviously, I don't because I didn't upgrade. If you want to add text, you click on that button right there and you can add in text. So let's type in my name, add text, and it shows up down here. And then from here, you can rotate it if you want to. Totally up to you. You can delete it if you want to. If you want to change the color, you can change the color like that. Let's apply it. If you want to bold this, click on bold. You want to italicize it. If you want to underline it. So there's a bunch of different things that you can do to the text. And all you have to do is just click on these buttons or do that. Down over here, there's clip art. If you want access to clip art, you have black and white, you have colored ones, you have shapes. So you can add those to your design. If you want to upload your own images, you can do that. That's where you would access them through your uploads right here. They do have a library of static and animated GIFs, animated images here. So you can see these are probably found inside of the templates that already exist right now. So you're not going to get a whole lot of choices. So if you want to, you got to upload your own stock images right here. You have all these different categories that you can choose from. These obviously you have to upgrade in order to gain access to those. But again, if you have, let's say, a Canva account, then you probably can upload some of these types of GIFs and emojis. Then right here, we have the background. So if you want to change your background, you can upload your own. You can access their library of static as well as animated ones. So you have a, a little bit of animated backgrounds that you can use right there. They do have color, color ones that you can create on your own. They do have animated, but again, you have to upgrade as well as their premium. You have to upgrade there too. Now, if you want to reset your template, all you do is you click on that and it's going to reset it back to its original state. We'll let, it, we'll let it do that for us in a second here. And then right here, if you need the tutorial because you didn't watch it like I told you to, then go back and watch it so you can learn how to utilize this builder. Down over here, oh, this is the volume that controls the music up here. This is a grid. So if you want to work with a large grid or a small grid, you want to show both of them, it's totally up to you. This is more for people who are anal about their design. They want to be totally exact where they put things and you can utilize that. Over here, this is where you can generate your e-cover. If you want to preview it, you click on that. And this is where you can download it. If you are an agency and want to share this design with your client, you can get a sharing URL. Obviously, again, I'm not part of that, so I, I can't show you what that looks like. If you want to save it here, you can save. And again, down over here, you can change the positioning of your items here. So for instance, if I select this, this uh, motion or this animated GIF right here, I can change the angle here just by moving it. You can also use these right here, these little handles. You can use these little handles right here. I'll right, show you this right here. You can move it like that. You can change the wording. So it's very customizable, very easy to use. And you know you can replace any of these images whenever you want with other images that you've uploaded or ones that they provide you depending on your membership level. So guys, now that you know how the eCoverly Builder works, let's go ahead and talk about the sales funnel. All right, guys, so pricing for eCoverly, and this is the reason why I always say pricing and OTOs are subject to change, is because when I purchased it, it was $37 and there was a 5% off coupon code that I use, which dropped the price down to $35.15. But there were three choices. There were three choices for you in terms of buy-in. Now they've taken this away and basically now you have $67, but also a $20 off coupon. So you'll be spending $47 and you'll get personal and unrestricted commercial use. Whereas when I 
went in and I purchased it on the very first day, the $47 gave you limited commercial use. So you could use personal as well as limited. And if you wanted unlimited commercial use, you had to go to the $67. So for those of you guys who ended up waiting, then you probably are going to get better benefit by purchasing it at $47 than I did at $37 because you're going to get more features there, especially being able to use it for unlimited commercial use. Now, this right here, the upsells and downsells, these could change, but this is what I saw. Pro, OTO number one Pro was $97 a year or $297 one time. OTO number two was Group Shot. That was $97. OTO number three was Prime at $47. OTO four was Gigs Hero at $47. And OTO five was Agency at $97. So now that you know what the funnel probably looks like, let's go ahead and I want to give you my final thoughts on eCoverly. All right, guys. So what are my final thoughts on eCoverly? Well, first of all, the purchasing experience was less than desirable. I bought it on launch day. I had to wait another day to get my login credentials. But thankfully, I didn't have to wait longer than 24 hours. But I still had to wait. <laughs> An experience like that was, to me, unacceptable. And it should be unacceptable for you guys as well. Next, I don't like the pop-up that keeps showing up when I go back to the main dashboard. I wish... There was a way I could turn that off. There's obviously a big push by the product creator to get you to upgrade. But if you want me to upgrade, show me more value rather than a pop-up. So I'm just saying. The product does work. I was able to navigate easily and without delay. There were a suitable amount of e-cover templates uh, for me to choose from, even though I was on the basic plan. The design interface is intuitive and you have various options to choose from to customize your e-cover. Now, whether this product is supported in the long term remains to be seen. I didn't like the fact that I was limited in the amount of storage I had though. So be aware that you might have storage limits with your plan as well. I feel a product like this is meant more for someone who wants to freelance or start an agency. As a solopreneur, I create a few e-covers here and there, nothing substantial. So an app like Canva suits me very well. And in Canva, you can create animated e-covers if you like. You might be limited in the selection of templates, but you can create animated e-covers. So at the end of the day, whether or not you purchase this, it's up to you to decide how you plan to use the tool. That's going to be the deciding factor. So I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I would greatly appreciate it. This is Ken Furukawa from KenFurukawa.com and I'll see you in my next video.